What's up, what's up, Fragrance family? All y'all follow me on DTF, uh, Woe Fragrances, W-O-H Fragrances, at Instagram. If you're not following, go ahead and do that now. You know, hit the like and subscribe right here to make sure you're catching all the videos. If you're a fragrance lover, you like to smell good, look good, all that good stuff, then come, come rock with me because I'm going to put you up on game. I promise you, and I'm going to be real with it. If you're not following me on Instagram, like I said, it's W-O-H underscore fragrances where I'm posting stuff about my own fragrance brand. Yes, I do do colognes and perfumes. Getting better at it. I mean, uh, you can check my website out. And uh, yeah, I mean, I got some more things coming out here for spring and summer. So keep it locked. I think people are going to enjoy them. I like them. You know what I'm saying? Um, but like I said, I've been following uh, fragrance influencers for a while. You can see I got a bit of my collection right here, and this isn't all of it. Once you start collecting fragrances, if you're really into great scents and everything, it becomes addictive. Um, so, yeah, and um, like I said, sometimes some of the fragrance people out here tell you about a fragrance, and they kind of steer away from designer fragrances that's basically mass appealing and made for that everyone enjoys, like a Sauvage, like a, a Y. And things like that, that they say, oh, it's just made because it's so easy to wear and all that kind of stuff. But ain't that what we're looking for? If if it's mass appealing, that means it smells good. That means if everybody likes it, that means everyone agrees that it smells good. So why don't we steer away from that? You know, a lot of times they'll talk about some fragrance that's made different and, you know, it appeals to them personally because it's a different whatever. A lot of times those things stink, have a punch of smell. Don't get me wrong, they put me up on some gems. But I have also been put on some flukes. So I'm not going to do that to y'all. I'm not going to speak on something just because it's popular or to try to talk you into going and buying a niche fragrance or something that they've been told or been asked by, you know, once they've gotten big. They say it don't happen like that. But if somebody's sending you free samples of colognes and stuff, you're going to basically boost them up. Ain't nobody sent me shit, so I'm going to keep it real with you. All right. So, what this video is, I'm going to be giving you the top, my top right now, five fragrances for spring time, you know, going into spring and summer. You know, springtime is that, not awkward time, but that, it's a good time of year where you can go for freshies or something that's a bit sweet. It's that in between winter and summertime and everything. So, these are fragrances that kind of lean could be fall fragrance in springtime. A lot of times those temperatures are similar. So, you know, when when you got highs in the 70s or so maybe up to 75, lows around 40 and everything. So you can wear these to date night in the springtime and still be good. So with that being said, we have an unboxing and first impressions also. And this is a fragrance that was hyped up in the fragrance community about being the best springtime fragrance that's been released and that's been slept on. But it came out in 2019, leaning into 2020, but they're really just now boosting it. And I don't think that's by accident. I think it's for a reason of everybody talking about it. And maybe just because Volgari, I gave it away, Volgari Wood Neroli. That's what we got here. I already taken the cellophane wrap off. So, yeah. And got to cut it open and all that stuff. Now, I have smelled wood essence that came out before, and I rather enjoy wood essence, but they're saying this is better. So, let's see. So, yeah, the box is pretty simple. You know, you got your Bulgari on the front. It's a nice green tone, and I actually can smell it a little bit coming out of the box. Yeah. No, nothing big about the box. But of course, and now I see why I can smell it some. If you're familiar with Bulgari fragrances, you know that it has a lock. You turn to the side, you can't spray it. For when you're traveling or something, you put it in your bag, you don't want to lose juice. Well, mine came like this. They may all come like this, but that's kind of stupid. Why not just go ahead and lock it? Anyway, let's go ahead and put a spray in the air. It didn't unlock all the way. Nice out of mouth as always. Okay. This is reminding me of something right off the top here. It definitely, you definitely get the, the springtime feel of like 
blossoming flowers. It's very white floral. You can get a little bit of citrus, not a lot. It has bergamot and neroli in the top. It's uh, supposed to be a neroli heavy fragrance. It also has cedar, Virginia cedar in the mid. Um, I ain't getting the woody right now. You know what I'm saying? And it's also supposed to have a leather note in the bottom. Right now, all I'm getting is that white floral and white musk. I do get the musk already. And now I'm, I'm going to be very honest. Like, for them to act like this is some groundbreaking springtime fragrance, it's not wowing me. It's, it actually has an old school smell to it in the beginning, like a fougere type scent. It's almost similar. And this isn't bad. I mean, it's just that I was expecting something maybe fruity and neroli smelling, but it's almost similar to, the openings is similar to Versace Dreamer. It has that, yeah, it has a lot of notes in this. It has a, I'm, I gotta go see if there are any familiar notes with it, because that has a lot of florals in it too, uh, along with tobacco leaf or whatever. So yeah, I'm gonna put the notes right here. As you can see, and like I said, it has the bergamot and neroli and cedar in the mid. But I'm going to put this on my skin. Let's see. Let's see if it smells any different on me. I'm going to let that settle in. Like I said, <laughs> they, 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 I probably wouldn't have bought a full bottle of this had I sampled it first, like I did Wood Essence, I probably would rather have bought Wood Essence instead of this. Does smell good. We'll see how it settles down. All right, but let's get into the top five fragrances. All right. One we have here, one that I recently picked up, and this is one of those ones that is a cheapie, but a goodie. It will last, it projects pretty well for at least the first couple of hours. You know what I'm saying? People going to smell you, especially you can go a little heavier with this because it's not expensive. Uh, I think I picked it up for like $37 or something on Fragrance Net when you finally found it. It's been out of stock for a minute because once again, they hyped it up. Uh, one of the big notes on this is the blood orange in the top. It has a sweetness. Uh, I think it has some vanilla in it. It has, uh, it's, it's compared to Mugula Ultra Zest sometimes. Good Again, because of that blood orange. Citrus in the top, it's, it's, I had it upside down. But yeah, man, this, the stuff smells good. Um, it's like sweet, but not overly sweet for you manly men out there. You know what I'm saying? It has a nice spice to it. I think there's some pink pepper in here. Um, but this is Ultra Red Man by Paco Rabanne. And like I said, it has that bit of sweetness, um, where you can wear it in the nighttime, like coming from winter, but it's also fresh enough for the spring. I feel like this is a great wear for the spring. It's, it's office safe. It's dates. It, this is a anytime, anytime of year fragrance, actually. But springtime is a great time for this fragrance. Never turn your back to the camera. Whatever. Jeremy Fragrance does it all the time. <laughs> So, next we have a real banger also. Now, there might be some controversy about this because it's a blue fragrance, but the notes in here aren't just blue. This is Salvatore Ferragamo Essential Blue. When I tell you that this is a great cheapie once again and a great smell of fragrance, like... Yeah, it's... Very fresh. It's like, again, it's sweet, but not overly sweet. It's not going to be coiling. I mean, I wouldn't overly spray with it because you don't have to. It lasts also. Now, to say projection-wise, it, it may project first hour or so. And this has, um, like, some lavender. Um, I'll put the notes here again and let y'all see it. But, man, it's good. It's almost like a Fougere also to me. Because of that little, floor, it, it has floral notes in it also, which makes it good for springtime. A lot of spring fragrances are going to be green, actually, um, with, you know, with florals and 
different green notes. Uh, this has a few, of course, Neroli, like what that what made that popular. And yeah, you can't go wrong with this right here. You sometimes I found this, if I'm not mistaken, I finally came across it at Ross's. So you Ross, TJ Maxx, maybe Burlington. Uh, you also have Aqua Essential, the original. It's a great pickup. So now we're going to get into some more that you probably really know. If you haven't heard of, then you should have. And that right there is F by Ferragamo. A good another Salvatore Ferragamo, basically. This one, of course, if you are for me, if you're not, I'm going to put you up on game. It's compared to Yves Saint Laurent, La Nuit de Lone. Because of that cardamom, black pepper, has a nice spiciness about it. I think there's some lavender in here also. Um, Lana Wheat Alone is considered the best date night fragrance. And this right here goes right along with that. Like I said, you got that cardamom and that gives you a little bit of spice and sweetness. Um, the bergamot in the top and the, the pepper, it all blends perfectly. Like this is a great fragrance. Like I said, with some of these other ones, it's almost a... <coughs> Pardon me. You put so many fragrances in the air, you bound to sneeze. So anyway, this is almost an all any time of year fragrance. Like I said, fall and spring can kind of coincide. And you could also, maybe date night in the summer. Maybe summer wouldn't be so good. But fall, winter, spring, F black, man, you can get this for like $30. Full 3.4 ounces, like $30. And I promise you, I promise you, you get compliments. And and you might GTD. Get the draws, dog. <laughs> that is a beautiful fragrance. So number, as we count it up, then this will be number two on the list is Bad Boy by Carolina Herrera. This right here. A lot of people see, like a lot of the the fragrance community people. Shit it on this. You know what I'm saying? Said that it wasn't that good. This is an Odin Parfum. You know, they, they come out with the uh, Lay Parfum. Or is it a toilet? I don't know. Anyway, this smells good. This has um, the bergamot and um, what's the main note I'm trying to think of? There's some vanilla in this also. Anyway, this lavender it's very fresh. It's very invigorating. It, it has that sparkle in the top and everything. It gives you that, you know, the feel of these new fragrances, the kind of sweetness, kind of bubble gummy, but still, you know, has a masculine must type to it and everything. I love this fragrance. You know what I'm saying? It has a, that's what it is. That coffee is more of a, it's more of a cacao kind of mix to it. You know what I'm saying? It gives it that little, that's where the little sweetness and the you know, the little edge comes from on this one. This is a great fragrance. It lasts good. It projects for the first couple hours. You know, people are going to say, oh, what you got on? I promise you, bad boy is don't let them fool you out of not trying to go bad boy. They was talking like the late perfume that has cannabis in it is the best one. When I smelled that, hell no. This is better. Trust me. I don't know why they try to sell you on some of the other stuff because it's different. Yeah, it was different. It stank. Bad Boy, Carolina Herrera, the first original. Smells good. Trust me. Good for spring, summer, and all that. And the number one, come on now. You probably knew what it was. You just cannot go wrong with YSL, Y, O de Parfum. This is a banger. This is a shut the door. This is a, it's over with. Drop the mic. This right here, she going to smell you coming and passing. This is a great fragrance. This fragrance here with the sage and the sparkly ginger and the sandalwood. And man, it's just blended perfectly. I'm telling you, the, the eau de toilette was good. But this right here has that staying power and it projects as well as when it comes to skin. This is going to stay on you for 10 hours. This, this, if you spray it on your clothes, you'll smell it the next day. I'm telling you, you cannot go wrong with YSLY.
People start talking about this mass appeal and so many people got it, like Savage and all that kind of stuff. It don't matter. If if she smell it on the dude down there and then come next to you and smell it again, all she gonna say is, damn, he smell good too. Because this shit smells good. Can't go wrong with it. If I didn't have so much in the air, I'd spray it. You know what? Fuck it. I'm spraying it anyway. Even mixed with everything else, this just took over. Drop the mic. Now, this has gotten cheaper since everything else came out, but I'm not going to say, I mean, you may can get this on discounters now for around 80 That's a good price for this. So, check it out. All right, y'all. So, that is my springtime five bangers uh, that I think you should check out. Now, let's revisit Wooden Aroli. It's not bad. It's good, but they set it up for me to think that it was just that guy. And it's just a dude. <laughs> but anyway, y'all, thanks for watching. Hey, live or die with the Lakers. We struggling right now. Anyway, y'all, again, hit the bell, like, subscribe for more videos like this. I'm going to keep bringing them out. I got to show y'all what's in my collection. All right, y'all. Deuces. All right, family, quick update. It's been a couple of hours since I sprayed the wood and the rolling on me and everything. And I got to I gotta give a quick update, like I said. Um, it's legit. I mean, once you get past the initial opening, that Ciparol, Cipri oil, whatever you call it, is very dominant to me in, in the initial spray and everything. You get a little bit of citrus, but that right there, that earthiness, Woodiness is very present in the beginning, and it kind of it kind of gives you that old school, somewhat off-putting feel. But it goes away in about 20 minutes or something like that. And when this gets down to the mid, and that orange blossom starts to come out, and you get a little bit of that ambergris with it, and everything is blended well, and because this this fragrance lasts um, so far, it lasts a while, and so. Can't wait to test it some more, but it has begun to really come into its own, and it's legit. It's legit for the springtime, I gotta say. Um, the wood essence, I think with the the longevity and how it's this is smelling on the settle down, that part of it is better than wood essence. The wood essence opening is very inviting and all of that in the beginning, so I give that the opening, but overall, Wood Neroli is probably the better buy. So, I just wanted to jump in there and let y'all know, you know what I'm saying? I was slick, kind of shitting on Wood Neroli at the beginning, and I gotta say, I had to go ahead and update and say, it's legit. Alright, once again, we out.